Good morning, folks. Fresh off one of the saltier live shows ever last night. Oof. Today we're back to business, however, with space weather, solar forcing, cosmic ray and magnetic field forcing, isostatic readjustment, and the scientific stiff arm. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. We'll see some minor pops. Solar flaring is making a small comeback, but still nothing major. The central disk coronal field activity is of the most interest to me this morning. There may or may not have been a plasma collapse-driven CME from this area, and if there was, it is likely to have been aimed at Earth. I will be keeping an eye on the coronagraph images today to see if there is any indication of that CME. A few hours before this center disk event, however, we saw a definitively failed eruption near the departing limb. This filament fully destabilized but failed to release as a CME. Kind of beautiful to watch the plasma filament go from stable to unstable and then see the failure of the eruption. But we do know that there is something on its way to Earth for sure. Over the last three days, we've been watching that central dark coronal hole crossing the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes, and we are about one and a half to two days away from the amplified solar wind arriving at Earth. Minor geomagnetic unrest is expected, but again, nothing major. First up in the articles today is yet another finding out of China that the sun plays a critical role in the hydrological cycles, specifically here, through its impact on the East Asian summer monsoon. Without the need for politics within their science, the Chinese are absolutely blasting through these kinds of discoveries. Up next, weathermen and climatologists weep as the geologists strike down the notion of the Anthropocene. But get this. Rather than accept how natural the modern changes actually are, they want to redo the vote after changing who is allowed to vote. It's like a little preview of November. I've got an excellent study up next on areas that are sinking along the coastline fastest of all. The isostatic readjustment or the up and down motion of the land is a big deal, but you will be hard pressed to find any mainstream scientists noting how the most sinking areas are also the ones they try to use to scare us about sea level rise. And last but not least, paleoclimate stacks matched up with paleomagnetic stacks, showing a significant correlation between the strength of Earth's magnetic field and important weather data as modulated by cosmic rays. No surprise here, but once again, you're not going to find many mainstream scientists investigating how the modern changes of Earth's magnetic field today are impacting the atmosphere that they say is changing so quickly. As long as you know, that's good enough for me. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.